Just think, you too could be developing an autoimmune disease all on your own. And a lot of people probably don't even know, have to try. You probably aren't even aware of it. This is because autoimmune diseases sometimes start off as silent. Or what some like to call smoldering autoimmunity. This means your immune system is attacking tissue in your body, but the damage isn't bad enough to cause symptoms yet. Think of it like a fire that's just smoldering and it's just kind of smoking a little bit, just waiting for a chance to flare up and start a nice fire. And this is often how the traditional medical treatment approaches autoimmunity. You may have some indications or symptoms of autoimmunity, but if it's not a full-blown case, you're just told to wait. Uh, wait for what? Basically, you'll be told to wait until your symptoms are bad enough to do something about it. Hmm, yeah, that doesn't seem too good to me. Autoimmune disease is more common than cancer and heart disease combined, and that's just the diagnosed cases. Many, if not most, cases of autoimmunity are happening without a diagnosis. This is because medicine does not screen for autoimmunity until symptoms are advanced and, se and severe enough for a diagnosis and treatment with steroids, chemotherapy, drugs, or surgery. I don't know about you, but I don't like any of those. Autoimmunity, the disease for the modern era. Come on, everybody is getting it. Autoimmunity can affect any tissue in the body or brain. It occurs when the immune system attacks and damages tissues as if it were a foreign invader. Your immune system doesn't recognize your own body as itself. Common autoimmune diseases include Hashimoto's hypothyroid, Graves' disease, multiple sclerosis, lupus, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, celiac disease, and psoriasis. There are more than 80 different autoimmune diseases that have been identified so far, and there's always room for more. Autoimmune diseases affect one in five people. The majority of these are women. It is believed women are more commonly affected because of their hormone complexity. See my blog post on why women are flocking to functional medicine doctors. Although autoimmune disease is very common, the statistics do not tell the whole story. So autoimmunity can be begin long before damage is bad enough for a disease to be diagnosed. Many people can go years, decades, or even a lifetime with symptoms, but never have the damage bad enough to be labeled as a disease. But that doesn't mean you don't have symptoms or it doesn't affect your health. As an example, Autoimmunity against the pancreas can cause blood sugar issues long before the development of type 1 diabetes. Additionally, about 10% of people with type 2 diabetes, which is caused by diet and lifestyle, also have pancreatic autoimmunity. This is often called type 1.5 diabetes, or 1 and a half, which we will cover in another vlog or blog post in the future. And don't forget to check out my previous post on type 3 diabetes, also known as Alzheimer's. One of the most common autoimmune diseases that I see in my office is Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. Patients may need to gradually increase their thyroid hormone because they were diagnosed with life low thyroid. The autoimmunity was, was overlooked and left unmanaged, leaving it to get worse and worse. So you can't just take medications to boost up the thyroid, or not even boost up the thyroid, cover up the low thyroid and not address the autoimmune issue and not expect it to get worse. Or a patient may have an autoimmune reaction that has not been recognized as a, as a disease. For instance, autoimmunity to nerve cells may produce symptoms similar to MS, multiple sclerosis, which is an autoimmune reaction to the nerve sheaths or the covering on the nerves. However, because the autoimmunity is not attacking nerve sheaths specifically, the patient can't be diagnosed despite MS-like symptoms. Autoimmunity can attack anything in the body, and it often will attack the weakest links first and then spread to other areas. People can also have symptoms that suggest many types of autoimmunity. Although symptoms vary depending on which tissue is being attacked, many autoimmune sufferers experience chronic fatigue, chronic pain, declining brain function, gastrointestinal issues, hair loss, uh, weight gain, weight loss, brain fog, and so many other symptoms. Fortunately, 
Functional medicine offers lab testing that can screen for autoimmunity against a number of different tissues. We also use strategies such as anti-inflammatory diet, blood sugar stabilizing, gut healing, addressing toxins, and habits that minimize stress and inflammation as well as supplementation. Ask my office if autoimmunity may be causing your strange and chronic symptoms. I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy, be happy.